Hello everyone, welcome to basic logic gate R gate design and implementation on Mimas V2. So these are the steps which we are going to follow on. And let's see about the Numato Mimas V2 download section of the website page. So there are lots of things you can download. You need to download the user manuals. As we can see, lots of things we already downloaded. We have the constant, we have the programmable programs and the sample project, etc. So we have download the drivers also so you can just get those things from the Mimas P2 so this is the github file uh, where we can get the project sample code which includes all the projects for Mimas P2 as well as other boards from Numato so you can just see the Numato Mimas P2 so let's create the Xilinx IC project so we are going to create the Argit this is lab2 Argit and we can select the corresponding uh, directory where we want to put our project so let's do next and we have to select the cons uh, the project setting it is actually a sync from the previous project so and let's do next and let's do finish so the project is created now we can create new source or we can add the sources we are creating bsdl module or get of bsdl module let's do next and let's do finish and the template is ready here we are going to edit the template is our or get code so we have to include the port section port a b are the in standard logic inputs and we will use again z or g z is for the output standard logic and we can just put a small bracket and semicolon and we can just include the assignments z less than equals to a or b so this is the main assignment or the logic which we want to implement our functionality now let's add copy of source of the constraint so you already get the constraint so you can also get the constraint from the Numato Mimas P2 website and it is already added we can see the constraint and let's use those sections which only needed so we, we need to have the two inputs from the slide switch and one LED so let's only unclick uh, the constant is for A, B and Z ports so uh, we can see we are going to utilize the push buttons and leads for this project so push buttons constant are also listed in this picture this is from user manual of Mimas P2 from the website and you can also see the constant of leads so we have three ports let's select A, B with push buttons so there is push button section so you can get the 90 line number 90 and above so you can just put the uncomment section on the first line and rename it for port a uncomment second line of push button and rename it for b so this is a and b for inputs now we also need to have leads leads are on 106 or above so we can just um, put z and the uncomment the line so everything is ready now we can save it and we can click on generate program file so after the program file generated uh, we, we can also recheck the bin file generation so create binary file configuration file you can click on it and apply ok now we can just rerun the generate pre stream so it will run from synthesize implement and generate all these steps will turn one after another so after the generation completes we will program our uh, Mimas P2 with the Numato software Numato programmable software. So this is the software which we are going to use. Let's double click and let's click run. So this is software, and we have to select the bin binary file, and we have to also select the port, and then after we can program the Mimas P2. This is quite easy. Is the Digilent programmable software adapt? Numato also have own software. However. Xilinx impact can also be work on. So first of all, we need to know about the COM port or serial port. So we can just go for a device manager of the operating system and we can see the COM4 is connected with our Numato Mimas P2. We already have connected our Numas P2, so we get the COM port. So now let's locate our bin file, binary file. This is lab2, argit, and we can get the binary file, open it, and let's uh, select the COM port. Just missed let's again select it com4 recheck it com4 
and let's program it so program programming process will take one or two minutes so it is a bit lengthy and after the program completes we can just check the uh, functionality on our mimas p2 using push buttons two push buttons that is first uh, push button first and push button second and we will get the output on the um, lead lead means we have utilized the first lead by tempting the heights of mimas p2 so we'll also show you the demonstration just after the program completes in this video so programming process is completed done we have done so rebooting fpg is also done already process so now we can just go for the fpg port numas numato numas p2 and we already have connected it using the usb cable so we are providing power from the usb cable and also programming it from usb so here is the board and you can see all the settings and this first and second switch are used for inputs and this is the output so we can just change the input so if we like press one so this is our git so basically this push buttons works in high state so if we press anyone zero if we press both of the zero then it will give zero out uh, zero output if we uh, press any of the one then it will give us um, one output means in default condition it will give us one output so this is all and you can also see the schematic of uh, push buttons in the website thank you for watching until next session